Hey guys, Justin here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So here I finally put together the Hisense U6H video for gaming. Now I have the 65 inch version. This is the entry level Hisense TV from uh, this year, 2022. And if you want to learn more about this TV and all of the features that it has, I already did the full in-depth review. I'm going to leave the link right here on the top right corner if you're interested in seeing more and learning more about this TV. In this video, I'm going to focus more in, in gaming with the Xbox Series X and on the, with the PlayStation 5 as well. I'm going to test all the features and what it offers and if it's worth getting your money into a budget entry-level TV for gaming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Joster, and let's do this. All right, guys, before we start the video, I want to make sure that you go into the TV menu. You're going to press this button that has a square and two lines inside. Press it. And then right here, we're going to go down to HDMI format. This is very important that you enhance the HDMI because out of the box, this TV comes in standard format. And if you want to play at 4K60 with HDR and all those gaming features, make sure you switch this to enhanced format, right? This is very important. All right, once you are already here in this menu, let's go into Game Zone. This Game Zone uh, features are new to this Hisense lineup TV from this year. And right here we find game information. So if you click and you turn this on, then you can see FPS, for example, this TV is limited to 60 Hertz or up to 60 FPS. HDR, there's no HDR right now because it's on SDR mode. VR is on, so it does support VR and also FreeSync. And ALLM is on or auto low game latency mode is on. If you want to just have this information, you can have it there. You can also change the locations right now. Let's put it like, like this, horizontal, left uh, or right, vertical up. I mean, honestly, it's like, I, I don't even need this information. So I just turn it off, but it's, it's nice that you have that option. Let's go into game zone settings. And right here we have the option of black levels. So just in case if the game is, is too dark and you, you're losing some shadow details, you can adjust the black level right here, which is really nice. It's something that I see more in like a monitors, but now these TVs are turning more into more gaming features, which is nice. And you can also adjust the white levels. And then right here we can turn on PC sync, which this is, this is free sync. But uh, last year it was called FreeSync. Now they changed it to PC Sync. I don't know why, but they did. It's turned off right now, but I, I still have HDMI VRR. So you have those two options right there. And then let's go back over here. Right now, let's go into the Xbox settings because I want to show you what this TV has to offer with when you connect your Xbox. So right here in resolution, we have 4K and 1440p, 1080p, 720p. So you do have 1440p, which is nice if you want to connect your PC and just use it as a 1440p resolution, right? This is a really nice option, but we don't have any option for 60 hertz or 120 hertz because this TV, it is limited to 60 hertz only. So that is the biggest limitation. 4K TV details, we have everything here except for 120 hertz option and the rest is just green check marks, including Dolby Vision for gaming. It does support Dolby Vision game mode, which is really nice. Same with last year, the uh, the what is that UAG? That's the one that I have. It supports also Dolby Vision for gaming. Let's go into game modes real quick, and as you guys can see, we have everything checked. Dolby Vision for gaming. Uh, auto battle for refresh rate, ALM, and all the all the mumbo jumbo right here is selected, which is really really nice. So let's jump into a game, one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. So let's do this. All right, guys. So I am playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and this game looks gorgeous. Look at this graphics. I am I have the new update, which the which is the next gen update for Xbox Series X and also for the PlayStation 5, and it looks very sharp, 
It's running in 4K, HDR. I mean, this game looks gorgeous. It's one of my favorite Assassin's Creed of all times. And I have this game running with Dolby Vision in game mode. Yes, honestly, guys, I think Dolby Vision on these Hisense TVs does look better than my LG C1 OLED. I feel like game mode, Dolby Vision game mode looks brighter on this Hisense TV, even though this is the entry level, but it just looks brighter for some reason. Let's go into the menu right here and let's go into the picture. So we go into backlight and local dimming is not working. So it's just turned off. And I believe this is the same thing that happened last year with the U7G and the UAG that if you're using VRR, then local dimming is just not working. Even though I'm using HDMI VRR and I'm not using FreeSync VR or PC Sync, that's what they call it now. It's still local dimming is just not working. But honestly, this TV has such a great contrast that I don't even see any any notable difference. I want to test if I turn off a VRR to see if that works. But for right now, I have VRR on. Local dimming does not work. Let's go back into it here. And then we have picture mode, Dolby Vision game. So right here in Dolby Vision, we have four different uh, settings or presets. One of them, you can customize it. And this is like a dark Dolby Vision. We will switch this. You guys can see it gets a little bit dimmer. And then we also have Dolby Vision IQ, which gets a little bit warmer. You can always customize all this. And then you go into advanced settings. And then right here, we have almost everything just turned off. So right now we have instant game responses turned off. And then we have PC Sync, which is FreeSync. It's also turned off FreeSync. But I have access to active contrast. Right now it's on medium. If I turn this off, Actually, I do like active contrast. I feel like in medium looks great. It does give you a little bit better dark uh, black levels. So that's why I like it. But one thing I notice is that if I turn instant game response on or even an automatic, then I don't have access to active contrast anymore. I mean, it's just turned off automatically and you can't do anything about it. All right, guys, so I turned off VRR to see if anything works anything changes and yes let me show you real quick let's go into the picture menu settings backlight and local dimming is on high right now so yes vrr does manipulate local dimming if i switch it off the only thing i did notice is that it does get brighter when i have local dimming on high so if you want to have if you want to have the highest or the brightest picture uh, available hey, make sure you use this what, oh, what the heck Oh, you I was going in peace. Not anymore. There you go. Oh, I need to assassinate this guy over here. So yes, I am. I turned off VRR right now. I I do. I am using local dimming, and I think it looks fantastic. It does look brighter. That's what I'm noticing right now. So I don't think I need a VRR with this game. I think it runs very smooth and i like that it's brighter so you have those options right there now i'm going to switch to a first person shooter maybe like warzone because i think that's where we're going to need vr most likely than local teaming right so let's switch to uh, another game shall we let's do this all right guys so i'm playing warzone here i am running the game without vrr I am using local dimming and it looks great and it also runs very smooth. I don't see any screen tearing or stuttering, nothing. So uh, yeah, if you like to use local dimming instead, if you want to have a bright picture and uh, better contrast and black levels, I will highly suggest to use the uh, local dimming. Just turn off VRR and you are set to go. I don't see much of a difference here or any improvements on VRR. The game still runs very, very smooth. I like this. All right, so now I'm playing Forza Horizon 5 right here on the Xbox. And this is one of my favorite race games. And look at this Hot Wheels. This is a new uh, update they just released a few, uh, a, few, a few weeks ago. It looks gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, this TV from Hisense, even though it's a budget or entry-level TV, it runs 
very smooth with your games has a beautiful picture it is bright enough for you to enjoy HDR and in my case I am playing these games with Dolby Vision, Dolby Vision so um, yeah that's crazy how it looks beautiful I'm gonna show you my settings in just a little bit I just wanted to show you how it looks whoa right here playing Forza Horizon 5 Alright guys, now let's jump into the PlayStation 5 and this is, I was going to say Forza Horizon, but no, this is Horizon Forbidden West. Beautiful game, one of my favorite games right here on the PlayStation 5 and look how gorgeous it looks on this TV. I'm telling you, if you want to save some money and you still want to have a, an amazing experience gaming on your next gen consoles, even though is not running at 4k 120 hertz still looks amazing looks gorgeous it's bright colorful i mean why would you go for something else right this game does support vrr and the reason i can tell right now it is because the local dimming does not work here either you guys notice local dimming is off that is because we have vrr on on the playstation and i am using hdr game mode okay so we do have hdr game mode right here and once again i still think that hdr and dolby vision even though dolby vision on the c1 is not it's not as bright in my opinion as on this tv but it's still both what options look amazing i like them both Let's jump into the menu picture right here. The backlight, of course, is not is not working. The local dimming, but the back level is the backlight level is going to be 100%. Make sure you turn off this automatic light sensor so you can control the brightness. I'm using HDR game mode right now. The contrast is at 80%, which makes this picture very bright. You can lower this if you want to, if you don't need that much brightness, but sometimes I do put it all the way to 100%. Wow, still looks magnificent. But I think like 80% looks all right, looks good in my opinion. Remember the guys that these are my own personal settings. You can use them, but I'm, I always suggest that you try or you use the settings that work best for you, okay? Brightness is, a, is at 50%, color 60%. Personally, I like to have color a little bit more, uh, what can I say, a little bit more punchy, more vib uh, vibrancy in the color, um, but I don't like oversaturation. So I think like level 60 is fine for me. Sharpness is in level 10, even though I still think that it does make a difference when you put it at level 10. So let's go to advanced settings and the color temperature. You can't do anything right here because I do have the instant game respawn on. It's automatic right here. PC sync or free sync is turned off. And none of these other options work because the major reason I think is because it increases input lag. All right, guys, let's test the input lag right here. We're gonna test in 9.8 milliseconds. 9.8 milliseconds, which is very good for a TV like this. Color space, I have this one on native. Let me see if I notice any difference. No, actually I do not notice any any difference. Sometimes I do notice this in colors. It does impact like the reds and the greens, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave it in native for right now. Well, those are my settings and uh, this game, it seems like the sun is setting down. Let me switch to another game, shall we? Let's do this. Oof, so finally I'm going to be playing Ghost of Tsushima. My God, PlayStation exclusives are really something else. I love this game as well. And honestly, I haven't beat this game because I just don't want to finish it. I'm doing every single side mission and everything. So I'm just enjoying this game as much as possible, but it is gorgeous. Look at this. The scenery, the wind, the flow, everything looks just amazing on this game. And on this TV, it still looks fantastic. 
I'm telling you guys, you won't be disappointed on this TV. It is very affordable for what it offers. I mean, it has game mode. You can play Adobe Vision as well if you have the Xbox Series X. It has VRR support, auto logging latency. I mean, you can play your games, you can play your movies. And this TV sells for, I th this is a 65 inch version, I think this one, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's on sale for $550, but uh, the regular price is $600, $600 for a 65 inch TV that looks like this, I mean, you can't go wrong. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would truly appreciate that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll gladly answer them for you. But if you would like to know more about this TV and more of the settings, more of like a full in-depth review, check out my previous video. I'm going to leave a link right here on top. But check out my previous videos. That's where I can show you more in details about this TV. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Joster. Hi. Uh, what? Oh my god, I haven't played this game in a while. I forgot the controls. All right, guys. Let me see if I can. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Don't mess with Joster. Shut up. Oh my god. Yes. No. And you are dead, my friend. Oh, I love this game. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you guys.